The 711 cable gland consists of five key components. Entry with deluge boot, compound pot, Diablo grounding device, middle nut with patented tightening guide, and back nut. This dual certified cable gland is designed for use with continuous corrugated aluminium metal clad cable or MCHL. Assembly instructions are provided with all Hawk cable glands or can be downloaded via the Hawk website. Allow sufficient length of cable to suit the equipment the cable is being terminated into. Strip the cable to expose the metal clad sheath to enable the connection of the conductors to the terminal. Remove a further 0.7 inches of metal clad sheath for cable glands A to B size, 0.83 inches for C to C2 size, 1.24 inches for D to E size, and 1.34 inches for F size. Slide the back nut and middle nut onto the cable. If you are using express resin, use electrical tape wrapped around the base of the cores to create a suitable sealing surface and pull the cores together. Apply electrical tape to the core ends to prevent damage to the rubber resin dam. Tip: If Hawk seal or QSP is being used, remove the rubber resin dam before installing the Diablo component. Slide the Diablo onto the cable. Ensure that the Diablo is positioned over the exposed metal clad sheath with the rear end of the Diablo at the point where the cable is stripped, as shown on screen. Remove the tape. Ensure that the compound pot is removed from the assembly. Slide the entry over the cable. Ensuring that the Diablo stays in place, tighten the middle nut onto the entry with a wrench until the Diablo grips the metal clad sheath. Tighten the middle nut a further half turn with a wrench. Unscrew the middle nut and visually inspect that the Diablo has adequately clamped to the metal clad sheath. If this isn't satisfactory, repeat the previous step. Check that the resin barrier is sealing on the taped cores and fit the pot. Your assembly is now ready for compound. Follow our Hawk Seal compound or express resin installation videos for step-by-step -step instructions. Express Resin is Hawk's fast curing liquid pouring seal for use with Hawk barrier glands. Ensure gloves are worn throughout the filling process. They are supplied with the resin as standard. Snap off or unscrew the cartridge lid and fit the nozzle. Purge approximately 25 millimeters or one inch of resin onto a disposable surface to ensure that the resin is properly mixed. Ensure the gland is held vertically. With the nozzle starting as far down the pot as possible, fill the resin to approximately three millimeters under flush. This is indicated on the silicon pot by the fill line shown on screen. Check that the resin is properly filled without any voids. Manipulate the cable cores to ensure the resin has filled any voids between them. If air pockets are present, coax them out from the resin by manipulating the silicon pot. Tape the cores so they stand centrally to the pot. If the fill level drops below the minimum level, top up the resin to the fill line. Place the entry over the silicon pot to ensure it is held in the correct position. Gland installation can now continue. Now the potting is complete, use a wrench to fit the entry into the enclosure. If required, fit the appropriate IP washer onto the entry thread. Tip. Depending on the enclosure used, the method of installation will vary. Slide the cable through the entry until the pot is seated in the entry. Hand tighten the middle nut to the entry and add a fifth to a quarter turn with a wrench. Hand tighten the back nut until a seal is formed around the cable. Use a wrench or spanner to grip the middle nut. While preventing the middle nut turning, use a second wrench 
to apply one further full turn to the back nut. Use our patented middle nut tightening guide as an indication that the back nut is in the correct position to suit cable diameter. Tip. A diameter scale is provided in our assembly instructions to help with this process. Installation is complete.